But the community is mourning the death of a high school student in New Haven. A 17-year-old was killed in a car crash on Sherman Avenue Tuesday night. Eyewitnesses reporter Aya Galil is live right now to tell us how that community is going to remember her. Good morning, Aya. Good morning, Wendell and Nicole. While well, those who knew the victim say she could light up a room, and a vigil was held for the 17-year-old last night, and today there will be grief counselors here at the high school as students try to process this loss. A community in shock after a young life is cut short. The 17-year-old victim was a senior studying dance at the Cooperative Arts and Humanities High School in New Haven. Police say she was driving on Sherman Avenue Tuesday night, went off the road, and hit a tree. She was rushed to the hospital, where she later passed away. A vigil was held for the teen last night. Loved ones lit candles and released balloons into the sky in her memory. I got granddaughters that drive, and I mean, you know, you think your heart jumps. An 18-year-old girl who's a senior at Hill House High School was in the passenger seat and was treated for non-life-threatening injuries. And police in New Haven schools have not yet released the student's identity. As for the crash that is under investigation, police are asking anyone who witnessed the crash to contact investigators. Reporting live in New Haven this morning, Aya Channel 3 Eyewitness News.